here we are. We're ready to put on a, a wet goat skin on a 13 inch rim. The goat skin just came out of the tub and we wiped it off a little bit with a towel. We've got the tension hoop, flesh hoop that goes on first, pliers in case we need them, and a brand new out of the package exacto knife blade for trimming the skin. But you have to do when it's wet. And that blade has to be sharp. Right out of the head. So now you put your flesh hoop on and the flesh hoop has, it's taped together. It's real secure. But that's, uh, that little part there, if it was to ever show through the skin, I'd want to have it hidden. And I would want to have it hidden here where the neck comes in. Okay? So put this connected area over the square hole and push the tension hoop down about three quarters of an inch. Now your hook, now it starts to be a battle of you versus the hooks. The hooks go this way and they go that way. And I'm checking all around. Okay. So let's put that down. Now keep an eye out for wrinkles. The wrinkle will follow you clear to the end of the... I'll mark it with my finger. Here's the keened area of the hoop. I want that right there. That's where my tailpiece is going to go. Well, I have to keep an eye on that when I'm working. Because that tension hoop, if it shifts even a quarter of an inch, and it does, I, I, I want... That's the most important thing right there. I want that directly over that hole. If it's not, it's not, it's, it's almost impossible. Now we have to bring the skin over the top of the flesh hoop and under the tension hoop. Okay? make that pull. I'm going to check my round hole very quick. I have to find it. Okay, over here. My peened area is directly over the hole. So I'm doing fine. Of course, the hooks are doing all things. They go their own way. They do their own thing. That's okay. See, I'm using both of my forearms and my hand to hold it down. See? I don't trust tension hoops. They'll jump off if they get the chance. Okay, now I'm going to look for wrinkles. If you pull awful too too hard right now, you can actually pull that flesh hoop up underneath the tension hoop, okay? So let's just pull gently and get this to look nice. Get the, ten, get the flesh hoop to look nice all the way around. Also, as you go around gently pulling, straighten up your hook. Make sure your hooks are straight because they're only going to get tighter now. Okay, we don't want them like this or that. So, right now is the time. Hey, this is a lot to remember. I recommend watching this video two or three times, then giving it a whirl. And don't get nervous, and don't get in a hurry. And remember, the worst thing that can happen is you get a wrinkle or the head dries before you get done. Start over. And what would happen if you were to accidentally tear or rip a head or cut a hole in it when you were trimming it? Buy another skin. See, I'm squeezing that right down with my right hand. And I'm tightening the nut. Keeping those hooks straight. We don't want a whole bunch of tension hoops sticking up on the top. That's not good. If that were to happen, I might have to loosen everything up, start over. Now, I'm feeling around here, and what I'm feeling for is just what I said. That I'm going to do two more things. Three more things to do. Number one, get this tension hoop down where I want it. It's a little high over here. Number two, pull that skin tight. 
Number three, cut the excess, excess skin on the the peened area. A round hole. The peened area is here and it's directly over the hole. So we succeeded. Now the top is, start, is getting uh, tight. So now is not the time to touch the top. And leave it be and let it dry naturally. What we are going to do is go around and pull and pull. And although you don't really feel like you're pulling anything, you are. You're doing them. You're doing the most important step right now. Okay. And I'm going to examine the flash hoop, and I know it looks good because I pulled on it so hard all the way around. Everything looks good. Success! Now we take the knife. Do not cut on the inside. Cut from the outside, okay? Now use your finger as a guide. Just like that. Now this area that you can still see, that's going to shrink down in there and that's going to be fine. Okay? So for two days, let it dry. Don't touch it. And it should be just fine. You can see that the lip is just above above the edge of the wood. That's just where I want it. So, let's see how she looks. It has looked pretty good. Stick to the angel. Good luck with yours. See ya.